Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Imperial Guard Tactics video. So last week I put up a video about Gene Sula Cult Hybrids and, and the point of the video was sort of talking about how uh, Gene Sula Cult Hybrids are a really, really effective uh, sort of guardsman alternative. You can take them in squads of 20, you can give them lots of special weapons um, and they can be made fearless relatively relatively easy and even without being fit they have a, a, a high natural leadership so um i know a lot of people were a bit annoyed about that video they were not annoyed but sort of jokingly thought i'd fallen for gene sula cult uh no not at all although you know i do i, I think i am going to end up collecting just like a small sort of, just for just for modeling purposes just like a small sort of 750 point gene sula cult army and i will probably feature um a battle report or two just showing off what you know show not showing off the effectiveness of the neophytes but sort of finding out whether my theory crafting was good or not i may record them or i may just report on my findings in a video we'll see we'll see how it goes um ju just just to follow up you know that's that's the point but um looking at sort of the gene stealer cult um stuff they have some other sort of relatively interesting alternative units that we could consider for imperial guard um and one of them is the goliath truck now um the goliath truck is the basic transport of the gene sealer cult and it is essentially uh, a, a different kind of torox if you want to think of it as an imperial as an imperial guard unit it's essentially a torox that has some unique and relatively interesting options available to it, um, but in sort of in terms of the fluff, it's just a like a civilian mining car or, or, or the equivalent of a, of a flatbed truck, like a technical, you know, like um, something you see uh, militia forces running around with um, all over the world, you know, a, a car with with a machine gun strapped to it. It's essentially an armored version of one of, one of them. Now. What do you, uh, what is the Goliath truck? Let's go. The reason I'm the reason I'm covering it is just to give people again. There's going to be some people out there that are going to want to run their Imperial Guardish genes to look cult to take advantage of the fearless infantry, and some of them are also going to want to have some fast movers available to them, some rapid redeployment units. And I'm just covering, I'm just covering that once again. I want to iterate. I am not falling into the genes to look cult. I'm merely just doing a few follow-up videos just to give this the the amount of time it deserves. Um, so the glass truck itself is actually an interesting unit. It has uh, it's 66 points, and what you get for that is a strength 6, toughness 6, wounds 10, 4 plus save vehicle, and it has a 12 inch movement when on full wounds. So in comparison to the Torox, um, it's a little bit more expensive because it, ha it comes with twin auto cannon as well. Uh, but the twin auto cannon, rather than um, the twin auto cannon is also 33 points so that's more expensive than if you took two auto cannons which would just be 24 points so that comes to 99 points and you have to take a heavy stubber on it so it's 107 points um so being realistic the torox is much cheaper okay uh, and the torox is technically faster as well the torox is a 14 inch movement i believe so some of you and the torox has got a three has got a three plus save in comparison this one's got a four plus save so Yes, there's a lot, obviously, a lot of people are going to be there saying, well, why would you even consider the Goliath truck in this, in this, this unit? Well, number one is the Goliath truck is an index unit and the Torx is a codex unit. So whilst you may not want to consider it now, uh, when the Gene Silicon Codex drops, I feel inevitably this unit is going to be reduced in points. So that's one thing you want to consider. Two uh, is the models are really cool. I have again. I um. I think I'm going to use some of these Galatrux as Toroxes for my army. Um, because I I don't. I've already got some Torox Prime, so I don't really want to go out and buy some more uh, Torox Torox Toroxes. Uh, but I would be. You know, I do like the look of the Galatrux, and they do have essentially the same weapons as the Torox. The glass truck, you know, it's a, it's a very cool looking model. 
Um, and they are the same size as a Torox, basically. They look massive on the pictures, but they're not. They're actually quite small little buggies. Um, and that's what they are. If you've, if you've ever thought, why doesn't Games, why does Games Workshop uh, for the Guard only ever have um, either tanks or APCs and nothing in between? Uh, the Goliath Rock Grinder, not Rock Grinder, the Goliath Truck is almost like, a, it's a buggy. I, I'm not a, a military person, but it's almost like, um, I don't know how it could, it's like a technical. You know, it's, 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 it's just a, it's it's a fast light attack vehicle, you know. It's almost like a like a snatch Land Rover that the UK uh, British forces used to use. It's almost like that. So it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, you've got obviously you've got uh, the points cost probably going to come down. You've got the rule of cool. You've also got the fact that it has a couple of unique um, rules. One of them is rugged construction. It basically has a six foot feel no pain. Which is pretty good. I mean, essentially, what you've got to remember is when um, one of these things gets hit by a serious anti-tank weapon, it's about as durable as a Torox. It's less durable to. It kind of balances out. It's like a you've got a the Torox has got a three plus say flat, but the Goliath Rock Grind has a four plus followed by a six up. So it probably balances out to about the same, um, which is cool. However, I think. There's two things that make the Goliath Rock Grinder very potential, you know, have a lot of potential. One is one of the upgrades you can take for it, which is a cache of demolition charges. Okay. Now, the cache of demolition charges basically it gives you a <laughs> it gives you a six inch range assault battle cannon, but but better. So the, the rules for it are, it's got six in, it costs 12 points, so you, you're glad your truck's going up to about 120 points. Uh, yeah, 119. Um, it's got only got a six inch range, so you're basically in point blank range with this thing. It's Assault D6, Strength 8, AP minus 3, Damage D3, and it can only be fired when this unit's embarked. So essentially it's people throwing demo charges over the side of the vehicle. Which is cool, you know, which is cool. Um, but that is Assault D6, which means this thing can go 12 inches forward and then throw these demo charges. That gives them an 18 inch range, effect, effective range, which is really good. Um, you can then also, the, the, which is just powerful, you know, giving this little truck the equivalent of a very, very short range AP minus 3 battle cannon, that, that significantly ups its firepower. Um, if you were a Gene Stealer Cult player, or you wanted to take some sort of close assault Imperial, if you, you know, Imperial Guard sort of vibe, um, you know, sticking some Acolytes or some other close combat unit in this thing and driving it up and then, you know, bombing them and then jumping out and charging them, that's cool. That's definitely doable. Um, I think what makes them really powerful is if you is if if you weren't to go for the cash of demolition charge you could use another rule called open topped and models embarked on this models embarked on this model can attack in their shooting phase measure the range and draw line sight from any point on this model when they do so any restrictions or modifiers that apply to the model also apply to its passengers basically if you fall back you couldn't shoot except if you've got pistols um so this makes the Torox, not Torox, this makes the Goliath suddenly like a pillbox. So you could sit there, this thing's got, a, it's got twin auto cannon, it's got twin heavy stubber, it's got that, it's got open topped. You could sit there at quite long range and you could have two mining lasers, you could have two mining lasers and two grenade launchers and six auto guns in the back of this thing. And suddenly from one little truck, you have, you know, four, about and let's work the points out. It's 107 plus 50 for the neophytes plus 14 for each mining laser plus 10 for the. It's 195 points. 10 for the grenade launchers. For 195 points, you've got a unit which is relatively tough. You've got 10 wounds, four plus save six to feel no pain. It's able to put out four strength seven AP minus one damage, two shots. 
is able to put out three three bolter shots essentially. Then two sort of mini las cannon shots, strength nine, AP minus three, D three damage. Then two grenade launcher shots as well, strength six, AP minus one, D three damage. And then you've got a smattering of las gunfire or auto gunfire in this case. You know, some strength three shots. And when you put all that together, that's quite a decent little unit. You know, you've got you've got strength nine shots, strength seven shots, strength six shots, strength four shots, strength three shots. Decent amount of volume of firepower. It's not a bad little pillbox, this thing. But I could definitely see, um, you know, turn one, take you know, taking you know, if you took five, four, if you took four squads of these, that's only going to set you back about eight hundred points. Plenty of points left to do some other stuff. And it would definitely fit in with some kind of, you know, we've talked about two wave tactics. Well, if you're, if you've been listening to my guard videos and you've been thinking, how could, you know, I love my Imperial guard, but I want to run the machines to look cool. I want to get some fearless infantry on the table. How could I run a two wave strategy? Well, how you could run a two wave strategy with genes to look cool is you could take all your units that you would normally take and put them in cult ambush. And then you could have four or five of these other squads in these Goliath trucks and what your two wave strategy would be would be your cult ambush units would get in the enemy's face turn one and then also in your turn one these units would move forward as fast as possible get into some nice 24 inch range and you could then set up a, a line of mobile pillbox bunkers with these Goliath trucks not bad at all. If you send these things onto an objective or two, that's really going to be hard to shift off four vehicles and 40 infantry. Um, and on the flip side, how you could do this is you could have your cult infantry squads go it, you know, half of them cult ambush, and the other half, if you want some close combat units, you could jump in these trucks, drive them really fast forward, and then you know, demo charge. Your second, your second wave would be demo charges followed up by a second wave of close combat infantry. You could do different things with this. So, I hope you guys. That's basically it, really. Just taking a look at the Goliath truck. I think the Torox. It's kind. The Goliath truck is kind of a combo of the Torox and the Chimera in one, and it pays the points for that. It pays the points. So you have the sort of Daka available of. Um, you sort of 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 a Torox and a Chimera, but also you could you know it's it's sort of it's it's like a it's like the the lower durability. This is how you you can think of the Goliath truck. It's got the lower durability of the Torox, but it's got the potential to put out the Daka 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 of a Chimera, if not more. So it definitely is a viable alternative unit. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some thoughts. Um, I do recommend that for those of you who, who just want to have a, a, a blast building some different models that you could still use in your Imperial Guard collection. I definitely recommend, take, recommend taking a look at the Glass truck. It is a very, very viable Torox alternative. Very viable. Okay. Um, how I built mine actually is I ended up you can build it and it comes with some like three infantry guys that you can you can build as well. So you actually get a, you get a, a a Goliath and you get three extra infantry. So what's not to you know what's not to like? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope the Gene Steeler Cult guys or people who are considering Gene Steeler Cult have found this video informative and that my tactics useful. Uh, and I hope the guys that are you know staunch Imperial loyalists. Um, I hope you will consider taking a look at the Goliath truck as an alternative to the Torx because it is a very, very cool looking model. Um, essentially, if you're a guy that likes the Torox on paper but hates the fact it's got those stupid mini treads, um, then you probably just want to go and get yourself a, a Goliath. It's basically a Torox with wheels. So there you go. Um, so there you go. I hope this video has been useful and informative. Bit more of a relaxed one, just a bit of a chilled out one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave lots of comments and I'll see you guys next time.